एवरीवन वेलकम टू योग बेला आई एम प्रीति दिस इज अ ट्वेंटी मिनट इंटेंस कोर्स सेशन सेट योर माइंड प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ इफ यू आर अ बिगिनर कंप्लीटली फाइन जस्ट गो इजी डोंट पुश योर सेल्फ टू हार्ड टेक एज मेनी ब्रेक्स एज यू वांट टेक पॉजेस कंप्लीटली फाइन एंड इफ यू बीन प्रैक्टिसिंग फॉर सम टाइम यू आर अ रेगुलर प्रैक्टिशनर टाइम टू पुश योर सेल्फ हार्ड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so let's start get on to your fours keep your fingers wide open wrist comes right under your shoulders and your back is straight it's not sinking like this keep it keep your upper back protracted which means shoulder blades they are going away from each other and it looks slightly rounded okay now shift your weight to the left front right back mix circles it's a warm up for wrist so you will feel your wrists during the practice left front right back like this make five circles and then from your right to left breathe normally two three filling your wrists four five from right to left one two three four and five okay everything same press your palms into the mat tuck your toes and take your knees an inch off hold 1 2 3 4 five gaze ahead 6 7 8 9 10 and 10 drop knees down relax sit back palms facing up we'll keep taking short breaks again get back same practice one more time tuck toes take knees an inch off 1 2 3 4 5 this particular practice works on your whole body it works on your arms it works on your abdomen your legs 3 4 5 6 7 eight keep breathing normally 9 and 10 drop knees down relax next practice is plank on to your force we'll do supported plank first and then full plank from here keep your back protracted slightly rounded send one leg back hold this position 1 2 3 4 and 5 right knee down left leg straight one keep your back leg absolutely straight keep pushing your left heel back i mean your left leg is completely engaged while you do this practice everything is engaged like plank just that you have support of your right knee 3 4 5 and drop now we'll practice full plank back to your palms protracted upper back don't compromise on this and press your palms into the mat in such a way as if you are pushing yourself away don't rely on your hands and sink push back send one leg back chin away from the chest you're looking forward and the other leg back hold one deep breath two Three, 
फोर फाइव कीप कोर टाइट सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन एंड टेन गुड ड्रॉप नीज डाउन पुट योर फोर आर्म्स डाउन नाउ विल प्रैक्टिस फोर आर्म प्लैंक सेंड वन लेग बैक Make sure elbow comes right under your shoulders. Chin away from the chest. Look forward. The other leg back. Hold. Keep core tight. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten, relax. Makarasana. Right palm over the left palm. Relax your cheek on that. Spread legs wide, heels in, toes out. Just a few breaths. Okay, get back. So in this practice. Forearm plank. Take hips to the side. This will tone your sides. Okay. Elbow, shoulder in one line. Tuck toes, knees off, hips off. And now, to the right side. You can stack your left foot over the right and hold. One, two, three, four, five. I know it is intense. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Center to your left. Stack right foot over the left. Hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Center. Drop knees down. Buttocks on your heels, child pose. Press palms into the mat. Tuck your toes. Take your knees off. Downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shonasana. Get on your right palm and the outer side of right foot. Side plank, also called as Vashishtasana. Stack left foot over the right. If you're not good with this. Bend top leg, place it in front of you. Left hand at your waist, or extend it up. Whatever works. Hold the position and breathe. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent practice to strengthen your arms and to tone the side of your body. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Shonasana. On the other side. Get on your left palm, outside of your left foot. The variation which you practiced on your right, same on your left. One, two. Three, keep your hips higher. Don't let your hips sink. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back to downward facing dog. Drop knees down. Relax in Adho Mukha Virasana. Spread knees wide. Big toes together. Arms extended forward. Put forehead down. Just relax. Lengthen your breath. Okay. Inhale. Look up. Walk your hands back. Prepare your mind for another intense practice. Fingers wide open. We'll go for 20 reps here. Get into your regular plank. Now from here, right knee to the right elbow, back, elbow, back. We'll do this 20 times. 
So start. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Feel it. Thirteen, fourteen. Yes, it is intense. Fifteen. 16, oh my God, I can feel it. 17, 18, 19, 20, yay. Drop knees down, relax. Connect with your breath. Okay, next is yogic bicycle and boat pose. Legs forward. Okay, so let's go for yogic bicycle. Lie down on your spine. First, understand all the alignments. Keep your knees bent, feet off. Head up, upper back off. Interlock fingers, place it behind your head. Right elbow goes close to the left knee, straighten your right leg. And the leg which you are straightening is at 30 degree okay almost at 30 degree don't take it too high or too low okay and then change change every time you twist exhale it is like exhale 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 take it and we are doing 50 of this prepare yourself for the practice I know it has started feeling Okay, back up, interlock fingers, head up, knees to the chest and start, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, forty. Last ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now immediately come up. Prepare yourself for boat. Lengthen spine, just to get maximum benefit out of this practice. If you practice immediately both after this, you get maximum benefits out of this practice. Lengthen spine, lean back, feet off. It's okay if you practice this boat with your feet, with your shin parallel to the floor. If you're really good, straighten, hold. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. We are not yet done. Once again, we repeat same practice. Lie down on your spine. Yogic bicycle and boat pose. Whew. Interlock fingers. Place your hands under your head. Knees close to the chest. Head up, upper back off. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, keep going, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, <sighs> okay, prepare yourself for boat, come on, give your best, lean back, feet off, comfortable, straighten legs, hold, one, two, gaze at your big toes, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and now we'll go for boat twist, keep good length in your spine, slightly lean back, your feet off, interlock fingers to the side, the other side. This is how you're going to move. Keep everything stable. We'll go for 20 reps of this practice. Soon after the practice, we'll do low boat. I'll quickly tell you the alignment of low boat as well. Okay, so you have to lie down on spine. Try passing this hand under your lower back. You should not be able to, so your pelvis is tucked. Okay? And then head up, upper back off, straighten one leg, the other leg, release arms by the side, want to make it more intense, extend arms up. So, ready? Boat twist and then low boat hold. Cool, we'll start. Lengthen your spine, lean back, feet off, interlock. Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Immediately low boat. Lie down. Bells is tucked. Head up, upper back off, straighten one leg, the other. I'll do the intense version. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we are done. Just hug your knees to the chest, relax. Watch your breath. Basic spinal twist. Keep your feet mat width apart. Drop knees to the right, face to the left. You can place your hands under your head. Turn your face to the left. Change side. Center, short Shavasana, spread your legs wide, mat width apart, toes falling either side, palms facing up to the ceiling, fingers naturally curled, allow armpits also to breathe. Just observe how with every exhalation your body is cooling down.
entire body is relaxed. Prepare yourself to connect back by bringing your awareness back to the body. Gentle movement in your fingers and your toes. Move your head left, right, feet together. Extend arms up over your head. Interlock fingers, give a nice stretch from top to toes. Bend left knee, roll on to the right side. The moment you feel comfortable, sit up in Sukhasan, keeping your eyes closed. Hands at the back, grab opposite elbows, inhale chin up, exhale bend forward. Send your gratitudes to the universal energy, being thankful to the Mother Earth. Slowly come up, release hands, rub your palms nicely, generate the heat, transfer this heat to that body part which you want to heal. For emotional strength, place palms on chest. Once again, rub your palms. And this time, cup your eyes. Looking straight into your palms, gently open your eyes. Palms to the chest center. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. High five to all of those who completed the whole sequence along with me. I know it was really intense. Write high five in the comment section if you practiced the whole sequence along with me. And those of you who could not completely find, take your time. In some time, you will be there. After this session, you may experience some soreness in your abdomen region, in your legs, in your arms. Completely fine. Just keep yourself hydrated. I'll see you in the next session. Till then, take care. Namaste. Bye-bye.